Hi, Chef Mike with Wustoff, and today we're going to do a whitefish, and I'm going to show off our new Grand Prix fillet knife and show you some of the features like the flex on the knife and how you can use it to go through the bone and so forth. So we have a whiting here, so you want to start at the head and work your way down. You do a starter cut right there, then you just take the tip of the blade. Once I get far enough down past where I pass the rib cage, I'm going to go all the way through the fillet right here, and then we're going to continue down using the flat part of the knife, holding it against the backbone of the fish all the way down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here, we're going to use this curved portion of the knife just to pull the flesh away from the bone. So we're going to just run the knife, you can hear it clicking against the bone there, and we're just running it right down that rib cage. We're going to pull that right off here. Then we just want to clean this fillet up a little bit. We want to take off the fins on the bottom here. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to separate the skin from the flesh. In order to do this, all you need to do is go straight down until you hit the skin, and then flatten the blade of the knife out, and you're going to be using primarily this part of the knife. You're going to take that, and you're going to use short little strokes back and forth, and then once you get it going like this, all you need to do is really you, you pull the skin at the same time as you work the knife. When you do this, you're going to get everything you want to off of that fillet. Now, the important part of a whiting, about cleaning a whiting, is they have pin bones going right through here. And if you take your knife and go backwards with your knife or your finger, you can feel those pin bones. Now, it's important to get the pin bones out. You don't want to be chewing on them and have them sticking in your teeth. So to do this, the easiest way is just to go ahead and cut them out. What I'm doing here is using the tip of the knife again, and I'm cutting just right around along the bottom edge of the pin bones, all the way from back to front. So you're gonna separate it there, and then you're gonna come down here. You can feel where the pin bones end, right here. And you're gonna do one more cut all the way through. You're gonna to have to angle the knife a little bit. You can feel the bones in there. You just wanna get rid of those pin bones. Then when you have that cut out like that, just take this, and you can just throw that away. Now the other important part about a whiting is on the back side here. You can see this real dark color. That dark color there is really oily, fatty fish. And if you cook it, your fish with that, it's going to have a really heavy, fishy taste. Uh, the funny thing about fish is people don't like to taste fishy fish. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove that. And that is, you're going to use this part of the knife again. It's real sharp here, real flexible. What you're going to do is you're going to use that to almost scrape that dark stuff off here. So I'll show you here. You just work the knife back and forth, and you can see you get nice pieces of that. Now we just want to take these fillets and go ahead and wash them up. All right, I've cleaned and cut the white fish, and what we're going to do now is we're going to do a Parmesan crusted white fish. Um, what I did simply here was I took the long fillets that we had, I cut them in half, and I laid them together so they look like one piece here. Put a little bit of olive oil down to help them from sticking. Now, what we're going to do is we just made this super easy for you. We're just going to take a little Italian dressing. We're going to drizzle it across the top on both sides here. We're also going to add a little bit of white wine. And what the white wine does, I told you before, the whiting sometimes has a tendency to be just a little bit fishy. When you add the white wine, it adds a little bit of sweetness to the flesh. The, the fish will actually soak that up. It'll take some of that, that fishy flavor away. And then we're going to add some lemon juice. Lemon juice right over the top. And that's just going to give it a little brighter citrusy note. Now I've got a Parmesan crust that we're going to put over the top. We just want to layer it right over the top. There's not anything difficult or fancy about this. You just get it, get it on there in a nice even layer. What this Parmesan does is it's going to fuse together, it's going to melt, and it's going to form a crust with the breadcrumbs. Now to decorate this, what we're going to do is we're going to take this Roma tomato. I'm still going to use the fillet knife. I'm going to cut some really, really thin slices of tomato and we're going to put them across the top here just to give it a little color 
and the tomato really balances well with that Parmesan cheese. So we're going to go three slices on each, just kind of shingle them on there like this. And then we're going to add just a little bit more Parmesan cheese right to the top. And that Parmesan right there will brown up and bubble up and give it a really nice look and texture. Now we're ready for the oven. After about 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven, we have a nice, light, healthy meal that'll pair well with any starch or any vegetable that you like. We have Parmesan crusted white fish, Wusthof, defining the edge. <laughs>